Hello YouTube World X, I hope you are okay wherever you are. Huh? So, I was watching this interview from Reinvent Money together with Catherine Austin Fitz. Huh? She used to be a uh, investment banker and knows a lot about uh, the banking world, international banking world and the dangers of this digital currency and uh, the centralization etc. She is also talking about that we need a reset just like I say we need a reset greatly Kayart we need Kayart <laughs> Kayart in Dutch means uh, very uh, very hard reset and they conclude in this part of the interview uh, Paul Bouting basically there is no gain without pain and he concludes here that most people they don't have the stomach anymore to endure some between brackets pain huh, to get gain long-term gain yeah, to have a short pain going through a reset for a long-term gain I dare to say my proposal of a great reset a total overhaul of Europe its constitution based upon the copy paste of the constitution of America except avoiding a few of its uh, mistakes is the answer to the problem and then have a euro that is gold backed gold backed euro with the gold of all the countries in Europe a central bank not in hands of those private banketeers and then that the central bank will run the show in Europe uh, a great reset but that can only happen if we have a reset of the foundation where everything goes wrong people that's with a constitution the constitution needs to change whether it be on a national level in Germany or in the Netherlands and then look to our uh, <laughs> brother nephew uh, of which we are in the moment just fuzzles yeah and I'm opposed against this to be a fuzzle to be subservient as a nation the Netherlands or Germany or Romania or whatever to another country uh, and that goes for everyone in Europe I'm opposed against this to be subservient to the USA if we are to be partners we are to be equal in power and that can only happen if Europe has a armed population yes you heard me right it would also solve some of those issues out there that politicians claim they are worried about right Russian invasion etc an armed population would be the answer to this very simple especially if that armed population is part of the defense force ergo you would have no kids running around shooting up schools you would only have adults who are screened screened huh? so you had your basic uh, psychological uh, tests etc just like in the army before you then become part via militias of the defense force that would be the most smart idea pardon my dogs in the back this is a little dog shelter that's what I am really doing in life daily we socializing stray dogs so I am just a nobody out there what do I know about finances or world markets or you know politics in general right I'm just a nobody 
But nonetheless, I am a concerned European citizen and I would love to talk with this lady, for example, or with Paul Boutic about my idea in public because no one of the establishment, it doesn't matter if they are in the opposition or not, no one is even discussing a total overhaul of the constitution. Everyone is only discussing, oh, we cannot abandon this, we cannot uh, get rid of this and this, which is total <coughs> bullshit in my opinion. Why? Because you can just change the constitution. That's where it all starts. And we have this right internationally. Klar now, Snow. We have this right internationally. We can change the constitution of Europe. We can demand this. But we need the numbers, of course. We need people in every European country calling for this. That's the whole key to it all. Yeah? The message needs to spread. A Republic of Europe, copy-paste from the Americas. You love America out there, you European. You follow its example, you follow its culture, you, you basically are an European American in in all your attitudes, your LGBTQA plus, your Antifa, your BLM, your whatever the heck some NGO from America <laughs> imported in Europe, right? Well, I suggest we start to import that uh, very same thing of which the USA keeps claiming that's the reason why people, you know, either hate them or invade them on the southern border. Yeah? Their freedom. And that freedom starts where? Yes, with a constitution. And I am so bloody fed up that none, like really none, of the alternative voices out there or people you all deem to consider very smart and intelligent and knowledgeable that none of these people are even suggesting a total reset with the constitution i'm really surprised about this why because it is the only thing that will actually change the system. If you keep working within the same system that clearly shows that it is corrupt, that it is broken, without any blame now. We are not talking about they are to blame, they are to blame, or they are to blame, or this is the motive, this is the motive, this is the motive. Just objective. Looking at the system, you can only conclude it is broken. It is broken. And continuing on the same broken foundation, a system that is corrupt in itself, will lead to the same corrupt yeah, results. That's my whole point. So without any blame, if you just look at the system without any blame, without hanging any motive on it. Yeah? So beyond conspiracy, yeah? beyond what you cannot think, just objective, looking at your house, not with the love of, oh my God, this is my old house and I love it and I cannot, I dare not to think about rebuilding it. Yeah? taking it down all the way to the foundation and then rebuilding it. I cannot think of it. Well, then you have to live in a house, I suppose, that will have leaking roofs, cracked walls, uh, all sorts of mishaps in your environment where you have to live that uh, cannot be solved otherwise. They cannot.
you know, I really give up because I am indeed just a fucking nobody like you out there. Huh? Silvio, Silvio Jensen reporting, etc. in his little diary and the madness of the day, the madness of us all. Huh? Again, I film a lot from the internet, from Twitter, from YouTube. I uh, document basically people's reactions by... Uh, if I watch a video and I find it interesting to see what is the reaction of the public out there to basically have that in a, uh, we all call it report, uh, that I will later make uh, in a printed version. Uh, exactly this. Also from this video. And your reactions, because when I film it, that's basically one huge screenshot would you agree and then i can just screenshot out of that by stopping the video the most relevant comments or feelings or and when i look at the you know the reactions of people on twitter x and such on youtube on facebook about a few topics that yeah I dare to say uh, will involve all our lives. Uh, farmers, for example, no food security, like Katharina, Austin Fitz, the lady uh, Miss Fitz, Mrs. Fitz, explained, you know, the food supply, it is essential, es essential for your independence, for your sovereignty as a country and the sovereignty for you as a single human being that's essential to that sovereignty your tax system needs to be fair because it is the essential part between slavery so servant sign uh, being to the pardon English is not my native language, I, I wanted to talk in Dutch. Yeah. To be subservient to the state means also slavery. The state should be subservient to you. It should be nothing more than a service provider, just like the founding fathers of America reasoned. If you really take all their motivation, all their reasoning in, and I bet like 95% of you out there in the Netherlands don't even know the reasoning of the Founding Fathers. You don't even know that the Dutch Republic spent a, uh, played a crucial role in the freedom fight in 1776 uh, the fight against yeah not slavery no 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 yeah that's slavery too at in the end it was just a political how you call it uh, tool in the end to consolidate all the power in the republic of uh, the usa but before that they had a war of independence against the British, against the king, against the Bank of England that was bankrupt because, yeah, the Bank of in England was indebted to who? All around the same time. All around the same time in Europe and in America. Struggles for freedom uprisings revolts against oh hell yes in europe exactly the same now that you were not represented but taxed you are not represented clearly in europe the system shows the eu shows that they don't give a shit pardon my language uh, but, uh, I'm just a fucking nobody, so uh, don't mind my appearance and my language when I tell you as a fellow European citizen uh, what is coming for you, what is already there for you 
a constitution between brackets and the Treaty of Lisbon, a constitution that has you not in mind as its master, but as its subservient servant. It's not even citizen. You do not even realize that in the Treaty of Lisbon they have four clauses at least in which they will use deadly force against you, my dear fellow citizen. Deadly force against you in that Treaty of Lisbon. Well hidden, well hidden, but nonetheless agreed upon by, for example, Balkenende in the Netherlands back then, without the proper congressional, if you say it in English, I believe, parliamentarian huh, approvement. He just did it. He just did it. He just signed it against the will of the Dutch. <laughs> I dare to say it's a very easy uh, case to make in an international court. But I, the individual citizen, do not get the protection that the UN Charter promises. Apparently that only for sovereign people etc. that you cannot be forced to, you know, to be part of a uh, organization or whatever. All these lovely things that we signed for the UN Charter, apparently I as an individual Dutch citizen, I as a individual EU citizen, how von der Leyen looks upon you, right? I apparently do not have the right to appeal to the UN as a sole single person. You know, like Katharin was talking about the earth as a body and us society being molecules. Huh? I am like this molecule of society. The smallest part is, after all, of a total nation. You out there, I, the individual, the uniquely individual, you are the smallest building block, I keep saying, of our nation. You are. So, does the smallest building block of the nation have the same rights as the total body of the nation? I dare to say yes. Like Katharina said, it is a symbiose, right? If that whole body is not healthy, then the individual cannot be healthy. It's impossible. So, here is one molecule uh, calling out to the rest of the world, to Europe. Please, please, you know, use your common sense. Use your common sense and be willing for the future of your children and your own safety and security to endure some pain in a reset. Because they're going to give you that reset regardless. They will give you that reset. Now, here is something I've learned as a low-life nobody, according to some people on Twitter X, I am. But here are some things I've learned growing up in child homes, etc. Growing up on the street. Uh, nonetheless, not ending up on the street and I'm proud of my CV. Uh, I dare to say I came from one side of society that you out there, you virtue signaling person will never encounter, never know in depth the rules and regulations in that side of society, etc. And then the other side of society where we uphold law, etc. Well, let me tell you, the one thing I've learned is that you are a victim by choice. Yes, you heard me right. Be it an individual or a society. 
you already get the beating, right? Just think of it now, fight on the street. You alone against an overwhelming group. Huh? Few guys against you alone. That's exactly what's going on in our struggle in comparison against this global agenda and the control, this centralization. You out there are fighting just like you would be alone on the street against, let's say, 10 guys. You will lose that fight. Oh, hell yes, you will. Just by sheer overwhelming body power. You will lose it. I will have lo lost it many times. But I dare to say I gave many of them such a bloody nose that from 10 it became like 6 and then from 6 to 3 and then from 3 to let's not do it because it became harder and harder and the damage done to them inflicted upon them was sufficient that they at some point then decide well that's not worth it anymore they still hate my guts i'm still that fucking kraut that uh, german but uh, hey they will not bother anymore because the damages the the pain inflicted upon them was to some extent that they say we just stop with this fucking bullshit leave him alone it's not worth it you get my point that's not to say oh look at me i'm this that 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 that's not the point otherwise i would dress up nicely and try to be just like any other voice out there fooling you around taking uh, some shots in a lovely beautiful background environment etc i would present myself in some way or let someone else present me in some way and i'm not like that because i am not like that i am like you just a bloody fucking nobody a citizen who has to watch how they destroy us all and i'm fed up with it i'm really fed up with it and i dare to say i'm the only voice out there who is really like mrs katarina said so lovely huh? when she talked about andrew jackson i admire that president yes he took the bullet for it and survived and beat them back then shortly unfortunately then the population let it slip again and they were back in action i feel i think of myself just like someone like the founding fathers they were after all ordinary guys like you and me ordinary guys who could think ahead they were nothing special you know Andrew Jackson was nothing more special than me. Yep, look in his history. Look in the history of all these guys. They were farmers or other types of people, but nonetheless, just ordinary people like you and me who wanted a change. And I am just like that. But yes, just like Andrew Jackson, or a JFK or Pim for Time in the Netherlands, to give another example, yeah, closer to home. You risk your life. I risk my life for doing this. Not even physically per se, <laughs> because I am a fucking nobody after all, right? Why would they then eliminate you physically? They will eliminate me in a very different way. They will just make sure that they come after you with laws you know court cases and such and close your youtube for example or your twitter or whatever yeah? because after all i am a nobody like you out there so they will not assassinate me because nobody will listen correct but i'm also a believer a christian a reborn Christian who starts to realize 
something very powerful about Christianity. Like really powerful. It started with one guy. And that one guy, as I said to some of these criminal young gangsters that I worked with in the Netherlands, yes, for the Justice Department, I worked with them. And this low life, uh, <laughs> no chance in life uh, type, worked for the Justice Department. And those criminal young asked one time this old gangster as they called me knowing my history they asked me who do you admire I had to park uh, 50 cents uh, those rappers etc and I told them I admire Jesus Christ he is my uh, biggest example of bravery huh? a guy with balls of steel a guy opposed against a system clearly so brutal and cruel that they can do anything with you what they want. Yet here you are having the balls, the only one, to speak out against that system, that very same system. Paying the ultimate price for it, okay. Those boys argued back, yeah, that was easy because he is then considered the son of God. God could resurrect him. That's not like uh, taking a real risk. <laughs> and I had to laugh so hard. I had to laugh so hard. I told them, you clearly missed the greatest picture of it, right? It's not about, let's say I'm an immortal. Yeah, you can take your beatings, right? You can say to the mortals, do this, do this, do this, do this, uh, until they die a slow death. But that was not his message. His message was to unite as humans. And then you will not be weak anymore. You will become strong. Because you will become indefeatable. You will become an idea, a wish, a dream, and you cannot kill that. So yes, I dare to say it was the greatest example out there ever. Huh? Fighting against a system in such a way that you even dare to give up your life. I think I have two duties. I'm born in Germany and there was a holy promise after the Second World War. And it was also the lesson I took from all those beatings, being a crowd growing up in the Netherlands, where they hated the crowd's gods. Like really, their gods. And besides that, they were all reformats and we were the only Catholic that didn't help either in the early 70s. So, and this crowd, the lesson he learned was from that history that you should speak out against your system the second, the second, not waiting until it grabs more power and more power and more power the second you see that it starts to take that shape and form, you are obliged, obliged, yes, mandatory, to speak out if you keep that promise. This never again. A promise we made to the world. We Germans, but hey, we all, I believe, made that promise by signing back then. UN. Eh? League of Nations, the whole idea behind it. And I firmly believe in it. That's why I became a professional in the army to repay my debt to you Dutch out there. This crowd repaid his debt to you and is still doing it to warn you, to warn you, <laughs> all of you in Europe, that you need to change this system. You need to change the system 
otherwise you will keep repeating the same mistakes because the system is corrupt. You heard me well. How can you trust people with ultimate power? And that's my final conclusion for you out there. How can you trust people with ultimate power, centralization, yeah? organizing, if you like, between brackets, every single aspect of your life? If you cannot control people with the freedom of every single aspect of their life, I ask you honestly, ultimate power where you then also have ultimate protection after all diplomatic immunity ring a bell will lead to ultimate corruption have a nice day twitter x youtube world i hope you are okay wherever you are i really do i really do but i also hope that you christian out there will finally realize you are not a sheep you're not a sheep you're a sheep herder you're the shepherd if you are a follower of christ you cannot be anything else than a shepherd and the shepherd doesn't care about the opinion of the sheep have a nice day Sincere.